hello guys and welcome back in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how you can design this beautiful mock-up right here i'm going to be teaching you three different methods that you can use to generate these beautiful and amazing icons if you're new to this channel please subscribe and if you've already subscribed thank you so much for coming back uh, without further delays let's get started now we're going to be using three different plugins now the design that i'll be using for this mock-up i got from the figma community so you can use any of your designs now these are the designs that i'll be using for the sake of this tutorial i got this from the figma community so you can just download some or if you have previous designs that you already worked on you can as well use that so um, i have a habit of always duplicating my elements and i do that you know kind of like a backup in case i make mistake while designing and um i am unable to revert back or undo i can just proceed with the duplicate so it's always good for you to duplicate your elements so just right click after highlighting one of the elements click on plugins and uh, select add post studio mockup this is the first plugin we'll be using and as you can see some items are locked some are open that's because Artbox Studio mockups offer both free and premium mockup devices. So if you click on, if you click here, you'll find the items, free items, premium items, and um, as you can see, you can also unlock all the items by paying for it. You can sort it by categories, but right now we're just going to sort it by the free items only. So let's go ahead and click on free, and uh, you see the whole place will refresh and we will have all the devices that you can use for free you don't have to pay anything for these devices so it's just a matter of you selecting on any of these devices all right so we selected the device uh, a frame and a, a mock-up model has been generated now what we have to do is um, we have to place our design element inside this iPhone 13 Pro frame so it's now we are not going to be placing it on top of the iPhone there. We are going to be placing it on top of the frame that has been generated for us. This blank frame. That's what we place in our design, not on the phone. Note that. So we we'll take our design element or what we want to mock up and drag it into the frame that has been generated for us. Make sure to align it properly. And as you can see, um, our design element is bigger than the frame. You have to adjust this. So you have to click K, hit K key to scale it and make sure that your design is not bigger than the design element or smaller than the design element it has to be the perfect fit make use of your guidelines to make sure the thing is properly aligned it's perfectly placed now now you don't just go ahead and click on render selected frame no 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 it won't work you have to click on the iphone frame not on your own design you see that click on the iphone frame that's what you have to click on first before you click on render selected item if you click on the render selected item now you see that your mock-up will be automatically generated on top of the iphone and whenever you are designing um make sure that um, this i just use this as an illustration if it's if you are doing your mock-up for presentation purposes do not put an android inside of an iphone mock-up it doesn't make any sense it might look beautiful but it doesn't make any sense like this one now i'm placing an android on uh, an android inside of an iphone frame so don't do that this is just to teach you how to use the adbox studio mock-up for presentation purposes you should not do this put an iphone design inside inside an iphone frame all right so that's how you do it let's move on to the second plugin that will be using to generate our our um, mock-ups so let's take the second design element i'll be using we've already you know we had three screens earlier we've already used one let's use the second one i will be going with clay mockup 3d now the link to this mockup or these plugins will be left i'll put it in the description section of this video so just click on the video description you'll see a link to install these plugins from the figma community now as you can see you can um, generate you can customize this you can select the angle there are presets you can as well select the device model if you don't want to use an iphone you can select ipad pixel 4 macbook pro different devices are there you can change the device orientation you can change the color of the phone if you know the color code for the particular device i want to use all you just have to do is to enter the color code in here as you can see it has changed to black that's zero in six places that's the hexadecimal 
you can change it if you want cyan if you want pink if you want purple if you want green if you want yellow so long as you know the color code you can just enter the color code in here and if you do not know the color code you can as well tap on that small color icon there and select the color that you wish to use and the device frame will be generated using that particular color that you have chosen so these are the presets you just customize it rotate it however way you want it device rotation camera rotation you want to switch it to the back to the front sideways 45 degrees whichever way when you're done you just click on save as image and your mock-up will be generated instantly now the difference between this uh, clay mockup 3D and uh, the Adbus Studio mockup is that the clay mockup 3D generates your mockup in form of an image and not a frame. And this is a whole lot safer because you are the, there's no likelihood of you um, screwing the design, so it's, it's a whole lot safer. So it generates it as an image, whereas the Adbus Studio mockup generates your mockup as a frame. So um, let's tweak this a little to make sure it's almost the same size with the one we generated earlier and then we can move on to the third plugin that we'll be using to generate our mockups okay let's do that right now select the element that you want to mock up first that's always that's the first thing you always do and uh, right click on an empty canvas go to plugins and uh, select vectory 3d elements click on that and uh, this is it now this is the one of the best mock-up plugins that you'll find in the Figma community. One of the best. If you go to the Figma community, you'll find over 50 mock-up plugins. But you don't have to know how to use every single one of them. Besides, if you have too many plugins installed, you have trouble navigating through your plugin list later. So it's best you have the best one, the best two, the best three, but not too much you can't go ahead and install all the mock-up plugins into your your figma workspace you shouldn't do that so this vector 3d elements uh the the list of devices that you can mock up with this plugin is inexhaustible and the point is that they are always updating it so you don't generate mock-up for just phones here you can generate mock-up for globes and as you can see i'm rotating it just like the clay mock-up 3d you see i'm rotating and you can see the glassy look and the shadows and the lighting effects it's just so beautiful and um if you look to the right here you see other you see the camera you see the glue you see the sweater you see the water can uh the man holding phone the astronaut key ipads cloud globe there's just so many items and you can sort it as well so you see that the list of items that this mockup can generate is inexhaustible so that's just one thing i love so much about the artboard it's one of my favorites so once you're satisfied you click on export image and um, your mockup will be generated almost immediately depending on your network because you know figma if you want to use the plugin section of figma you need good network good internet good bandwidth so depending on your network the mockup will be generated if you have a very fast internet connection the mockup will be generated instantaneously and immediately you click on export image you you find your mockup so you have to resize it to match the other plugins the other mockups rather that we've already generated so you just hit the key and then you adjust it and adjust it and adjust it until it meets your taste I'm just going to go ahead and tweak this a little bit, make it a bit smaller, okay, perfect, that's it. So guys, this is how you generate mockups using plugins, and the list of the plugins that we've used, Artbot Studio Mockup, Clay Mockup 3D, and Vectory 3D Elements. The links to these plugins will be left in, I will leave it in the video description. Just click on it to take it to the Figma community, install it, and enjoy. Thank you very much.